hello everyone so today we are going to work on how to dynamically get the assigned input for a certain action so here when I go here take down and it shows middle mouse button like this now this is dynamically retrieved from the input system of the game so that even if the player change it we will get the correct input now here instead of the middle mouse button this I a stun attack this is the input action that I have used for the takedown so here if I assign F for example now still if I go behind the character you see takedown now it shows F and I can of course do the takedown with the F so not just that if I add another key let's say E and go here see now it shows F E so I can use either keys and it still works so yeah so this is what we are going to work on today and even if you use uh, input action for something like moment which we assign multiple keys this will still work so yeah and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from my patreon page so once you become a member you can access anything uh, without a limit so feel free to check it out and also this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing you can watch all other episodes as well if you like i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description all right so let's get back to today's episode okay so yesterday we worked on this showing the player tip when we go behind a character like this here we show take down middle mouse so now what I want to do is here what I have done is just hard coded the middle mouse button middle mouse here so instead of that I want to determine in the runtime dynamically what key is assigned to this certain action and show that key instead of hard coding the key here so in by using that way even if we allow player to remap keys it will still work we will get the correct tip so how can we do that for that first let's open our player controller oh, we don't have a player controller so let's define one I'll define this in this third person blueprints blueprints player controller I'll call it CLM and let's open it so here I need an event a function to get the key when I pass an input action so I think it would be better if I define an interface function for that so that we can call it without having to cast into this certain player controller class so here bp interfaces let's add a new interface to add player controller functions api player controller right now get key or oh, let's just say yeah get key get key name as an input I need to pass input action input action object reference I'll call it input right now let's implement this in our player controller and uh, class settings let's add ppi 
player controller let's define a category too get kine now we can access enhanced input um local player subsystem okay now from here we can do this query keys map to action now we can pass this input here like this and then let's run a for each loop well oh i forgot this has to be a function or an input because we need to return the name of the key so i'll just call it keys because there could be more than one key assigned to a certain action for example if i pass movement input action movement it will return w it should return wsad so let me cut this delete this and re-implement this right now we got it okay then run for each loop and for each uh, key structure we can get display name so maybe we don't need the loan display name but i'm not 100 percent sure what it does so let's add a local variable i'll call it keys oh wait key names and the type of a string and by default it will be blank and here i'll append this new key name to the existing key name in case we have multiple keys assigned and set key names like this and at the end just return return key names like this that's actually all i want to do here wait i forgot to connect this okay now uh, let's go here now this is the part this here let's do an append and i want to do this do i have to collapse this maybe yes be better if i collapse this so it will be more clear show tip right now as i was going to do let's get some space so take down and then input and then show the input and after that this part and we don't need to hard code we don't want to hard code this middle mouse so instead what i'm gonna do is this uh, we, we already have a reference to the player controller get in name and as the input i have used a stun attack input that's the input i have assigned the middle mouse and now for that we can get the keys like this all right now let's see 
what it returns. Take down and it returns nothing. Okay. Ah, huh, correct. I didn't assign this player controller yet. Player controller class assign CLM player controller. Now let's try. Yeah, middle mouse button. Okay. The name is a bit long, that's but that's fine. Maybe later on we should implement a system to show the icon instead of showing the whole text. But for now that's fine. So let's see. So if I change the key now, uh, I need to uh, do the same thing the stun attack as well yeah shut it can I paste it yeah Okay, so what I wanted to test is this here. What if I assign a different key? Uh, actually, that is assigned here in the mapping context. So, where is a stun attack? Yeah, here. Let me assign F. and now if i go here it should show f yeah see and i can still do the action as well all right what if i assign two keys f and e it should show f -E. see so I can press either E or F. Both keys works. Alright, so that's all I want to cover in this episode. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And maybe next time let's work on different types of weapons. Also I need to re improve the AI as well. So yeah. Let's look into one of those topics and thanks again. Feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments and yeah, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.